We're going to break down the cost of every super heavy lift rocket that has ever been launched or is currently under development. These are rockets that have a capacity to send over 50 metric tons to low earth orbit, equivalent to the weight of about 25 passenger cars. Every cost you'll see has been converted to 2024 US dollars for a fair comparison, and all of the sources will be available in the description. One of the most iconic examples of this class of rocket is the Saturn V, the centerpiece of the Apollo program, and the rocket that pioneered human space travel to the moon. A total of 12 Apollo missions used the Saturn V rocket, with each launch costing an average of 1.5 billion US dollars. This price includes the cost to build and launch one individual Saturn V rocket, and doesn't include the cost of development, infrastructure, or any spacecraft on the rocket. The total development cost of the Saturn V was 77.5 billion US dollars, accounting for 26% of the entire Apollo program's cost. This rocket had the capacity to send 140 metric tons to low Earth orbit, and to this day remains the only rocket that has ever sent humans to the moon. Around the same time the Apollo program was underway, the Soviet Union had its own super heavy lift rocket under development, known as the N1, with a capacity of 95 metric tons, in order to pursue its own goal of a crewed lunar mission. Declassified CIA estimates indicated it would have cost the Soviet Union 180 to 240 billion US dollars for a crewed lunar landing, but the Soviet space program was underfunded and cancelled before this amount was ever reached. Each N1 rocket launch is estimated to have cost about 1.9 to 2.3 billion US dollars, though all four launches of the N1 rocket failed, and the program was effectively cancelled by 1974. This was despite notable progress, with the last N1 flying for over 100 seconds before experiencing a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Despite the N1's failures, the Soviet Union later went on to successfully develop and launch the Super Heavy Lift Energia rocket in 1987. This rocket was capable of lifting about 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit, and was designed to launch the Buran spacecraft. The total amount spent on the Energia Buran program was roughly 110 billion US dollars, though just two launches were made using the Energia rocket, including one with the Buran spacecraft. These launches were estimated to cost about 1.2 to 2.4 billion US dollars. The Energia rocket was also expected to have another flight in 1993, though this never occurred due to the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, and ultimately resulted in the entire Energia Buran spacecraft program being cancelled and abandoned. Throughout the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, various super heavy lift rockets were proposed, but none of them materialized. That was until 2012, when NASA began work on the Space Launch System, or SLS for short. This is the rocket for the Artemis program that's currently underway, with the goal of returning astronauts to the moon in 2027 and establishing a moon base by 2030. The Artemis program has racked up a total cost of about 93 billion US dollars to date. This includes the development of the SLS at 24.3 billion. The SLS has already had its first launch with the Artemis 1 mission that took place in 2022 and used the SLS to send an uncrewed Orion spacecraft around the moon and back to Earth. Each launch of the SLS has a cost of $2.6 billion. This massive price has raised concerns in Congress and has led to alternative launch vehicles being considered for later Artemis missions, one of which may be SpaceX's Starship if successfully developed. SpaceX has two super heavy lift rockets, the Falcon Heavy and the Starship. The smaller of the two is the Falcon Heavy, with a capacity of 30 to 64 metric tons, and a total development cost of $2.5 billion, which includes the entire Falcon line of rockets. Each Falcon Heavy launch costs customers from 90 to $160 million, though as a private company, these include a profit margin. The Starship, on the other hand, is a unique design from SpaceX, with a capacity ranging from 100 metric tons to a mind-boggling 400 metric tons, depending on configuration. The total amount spent on development for the Starship as of July 2025 is estimated to be around $5 billion and is expected to approach $10 billion upon completion. Currently, Starship launches cost about $100 million each, assuming that no part of the rocket is reused. Once complete reusability is achieved for the Starship, the price is expected to drop dramatically to a target of $10 million per launch. Another country with plans to build a new super heavy lift rocket is Russia. Russia is currently developing two super heavy lift rockets named the Yenisei and Don rockets. The rockets are being designed with an ultimate goal of a crewed mission to the moon in the 2030s. Initial development for the rockets is estimated to cost 18 to 24 billion US dollars total, though the project was temporarily suspended from 2020 to 2025. Launch costs are vague, but Russian officials have stated a target target price per launch to be a quarter of the American SLS program, putting it in the neighborhood of 650 million US dollars. China has been ramping up spending on its space program over the past decade to develop two super heavy lift rockets, the Long March 9 and 10. The Long March 9 is the larger of the two, with an estimated payload capacity of 140 to 150 metric tons, at a target price per launch of 300 to 500 million dollars, and is intended to be reusable similar to SpaceX's Starship. The Long March 10 on the other hand, is a non-reusable rocket 
orbit with a capacity of 70 metric tons designed specifically for a human crewed mission to the moon by the year 2030. Unfortunately, the Long March 10 doesn't have any official pricing data points that we can use, but we can assume that it would cost more than the Long March 9 due to increased complexity for human support systems and its non-reusable design. India is also attempting to build a super heavy lift rocket with its next generation launch vehicle, or NGLV, estimated to cost a total of 1 billion US dollars for initial development. The NGLV rocket will be yet another reusable super heavy lift rocket with a target price per launch ranging from 57 to 90 million US dollars after reusability is achieved. Here are some notable rockets with a capacity under 50 metric tons to help paint a better picture of costs. The space shuttle is the first notable mention, which had a capacity of 27.5 metric tons to low Earth orbit and was the first partially reusable launch system. The entire space shuttle program had a total cost of 302 billion US dollars over its 30 years, including 54.7 billion for the development of six space shuttles. Each launch had an average cost of 144 to 260 million US dollars. The rocket with the most number of completed missions is the Soyuz U, a medium lift rocket in service from 1973 to 2017, and a capacity of up to 6.9 metric tons to low Earth orbit. The Soyuz U had a total of 786 launches, 765 of which were successful, and had an average price of 78 million US dollars per launch. The rocket retired in 2017 with its replacement the Soyuz 2, averaging a launch cost of 43 to 58 million US dollars. In Europe we have the Ariane 5, which was a heavy lift European rocket developed by Ariane Group. This rocket was funded by the European Space Agency at a cost ranging from 150 to 200 million US dollars per launch. Development costs were about 20.4 billion US dollars. Its successor, the Ariane 6, which debuted in July of 2024, had a development cost of 4.4 billion US dollars and currently costs about 100 to 115 million US dollars to launch, depending on configuration. Way on the other end of the spectrum, we have the cheapest rocket ever launched that successfully inserted a payload into orbit, the Japanese SS-520 No. 5, with an estimated launch cost of roughly 4.3 million US dollars. This rocket was launched in 2018 by the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency and currently holds the Guinness World Record for the smallest orbital rocket. At just over 31 feet tall and about a foot and a half in diameter, this mini rocket is capable of sending a payload of just 4 kilograms into low Earth orbit, just the weight needed to launch CubeSats, tiny satellites that are just a few inches long. If we look at the rockets with the lowest cost per kilogram to orbit, these would currently be the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets from SpaceX, with prices ranging from 1,800 to 3,100 for one kilogram to orbit. This is the result of their reusable design, allowing for significantly cheaper costs, and is the reason that many companies have pivoted towards developing reusable rockets. If you're interested in reading more into these numbers, I've included links to all of the sources in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know which cost breakdowns you would like to see next.